The news of Caddo confirming that Tesla's $25,000 Model 2 will use LFP batteries has electrified the Tesla electric vehicle community, eagerly anticipating the insane performance of this compact crossover. Unlike the batteries used in the Model 3, these LFP batteries have been enhanced to increase the energy density of the cells by up to 15%. This means the Model 2 will still be able to travel over 250 miles and even before other electric vehicles succumb to freezing temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, this next-gen EV will still operate exceptionally with this new battery tech. All will be revealed right now in Tesla Car World. Previously, on April 5, 2023, Tesla confirmed the 53-kilowatt-hour LFP battery pack for its affordable car model, information documented in the Part 3 Comprehensive Plan. Of course, Tesla did not specify whether this LFP battery belonged to a new or old generation, leading most people to believe it was still a conventional LFP pack similar to those in the Model 3 RWD. In another development, many believe that Tesla's new 4680 battery technology is precisely the type integrated into this next-gen EV to enhance its overall performance. People have even speculated about the promising range possibilities, suggesting that the Model 2 could achieve anywhere from 250 to 310 miles per charge with 4680 cells. This speculation is plausible because by the time the Model 2 is released, Tesla would have already achieved significant quantities of 4680 cells. Tesla VP Maravi admitted that the current 4680 cells are sufficient for all Tesla models, but priority is still given to the Cybertruck to ensure customers don't have to wait too long for their reservations. Facing all speculation about whether the Model 2 will use the regular LFP package or the new 4680, Cattle CEO's confirmation of the official battery pack for the Model 2 blew most of our minds. LFP Gen 2 is what we're talking about, a complete game-changing battery technology for next-gen EVs, from a car with such a weak performance that it surprised its customers. Why did Tesla choose LFP Gen 2 to use for Model 2? First, let's dive into this type of battery. Previously, we mistakenly assumed that LFP Gen 2 and Cattle's M3P were the same type of battery, but we were completely wrong. The LFP Gen 2 battery is officially named Shenxing, or what Cattle calls the supercharging battery. It was actually unveiled last August at a Cattle conference. According to Cattle, because of the second-generation fast ion ring that further contributes to the system's extremely high conductivity combined with a nanocrystalline cathode material, the new LFP battery is capable of providing 250 miles of driving range with a 10-minute charge as well as a range of over 435 miles on a full charge. However, that probably is too generous for U.S. driving conditions. It's typically about a third short of EPA estimates, so a $25,000 Model 2 equipped with a Shenxing LFP package will likely be good for up to 300 miles of range or lower depending on the variant. Despite featuring low-cost lithium iron phosphate chemistry, it supports 4C charging, becoming the first 4C LFP battery in the world, also according to Cattle. For those who don't know about the 4C super fast charging feature, specifically C means a battery charging multiplier saying how many times the battery can be charged in an hour. Thus, 4C means it can be fully charged in 15 minutes and four times in an hour. The Shenxing battery also boasts a longer lifespan with over a thousand charging cycles, meaning this type of battery will perform well for at least 200,000 miles. Its extended lifespan is partly due to the cold-resistant characteristics of this Gen 2 battery. Typically, LFP batteries are known for their rapid degradation and poor performance in cold weather, making them ineffective for electric vehicles if customers live in regions with harsher climates. However, with LFP Gen 2, Cattle has stated that these new types of batteries will perform better in cold weather and can be charged at speeds of up to 550 kilowatts when the temperature drops below 0 degrees Celsius. This has astonished everyone because most people were thinking about how crazy Model 2 would be with those battery cells. Truth is, this battery is much more of a breakthrough than the previous LFP generation because, from what we've researched, Cattle has innovated in materials, electrochemistry, and system structure comprehensively, achieving super-fast charging capabilities while maintaining high energy density. Of course, Cattle hasn't shared more details on how they improved LFP Gen 2, partly because it hasn't been widely produced yet, and partly out of fear that competitors might learn their secrets. Just know that the new battery for Model 2 has won the Techno Best 2024 award from judges from 31 European countries. 
This is the first time a battery project has won this prestigious award, which is so remarkable that everyone acknowledges its potential breakthrough for electric vehicles. As an LFP cell, Shenxing will be significantly cheaper than lithium-ion cells, but their fast charging capabilities won't be cheap. Therefore, it's predicted to cost around $100 per kilowatt hour. The information that the $25,000 Model 2 will be equipped with this battery pack was revealed by the CEO of Cattle. He spoke to Bloomberg, noting that Tesla's upcoming $25,000 car could benefit from reduced battery-related costs. He also disclosed that Cattle is supplying the manufacturing equipment for these Shenxing batteries to Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada as part of a deeper collaboration between the two companies. Instead of importing battery modules or using raw materials supplied by Cattle, importing manufacturing tools to produce them locally in North America demonstrates Tesla's intent for Model 2 to qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit, which also is aiming to use this type of battery long term for their future models. This battery technology meets all the criteria for an affordable electric vehicle model like Model 2, and Tesla's choice of it is unquestionable. How will Tesla's Model 2 change the performance game with LFP Gen 2? It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that Cattle's new battery technology will be one of the key factors driving the success of the $25,000 Model 2. As we've discussed, the features of LFP Gen 2, these LFP batteries can charge nearly to full in just 15 minutes, a technology demonstrated by Cattle in their press conference. This translates to Model 2 charging from 0 to 80% in 15 minutes or 10 minutes when customers start charging from 20%. Coupled with Tesla Supercharger V3 infrastructure, the Model 2 can truly achieve this charging time reliably and consistently in the real world. Depending on the variant, we also believe that this battery pack will likely start with a capacity of around 53 kilowatt hours as previously disclosed in Tesla's plans. Instead of higher charging speeds that can degrade battery life quickly, the new Model 2 might feature a more reasonable charging rate of around 350 kilowatts, painted with a battery pack with a very long lifespan. LFP Gen 2 battery packs boast an energy density increase of 10 to 15%, leading to extended range and higher efficiency or fewer cells in the vehicle at lower cost. As we've mentioned multiple times, the Model 2 is expected to only have two variants with two different battery packs. If the single motor variant achieves only 250 miles of range, the long range variant will likely offer a longer range, ideally around 300 miles, which would be much more appealing but may not hit the $25,000 price mark. Selling for around $30,000 to $35,000 is quite feasible as Tesla is keen on not missing out on that tax credit, which is clearly evident. Cattle CEO Zhang believes that they can assist Tesla in achieving the cost reduction goal for the Model 2, making the $25,000 car more feasible with the new battery being considered a significant contributing factor to its price commitment. The anticipated 53 kilowatt hour Model 2 battery is expected to cost only $5,300, roughly half the price of the Model Y battery. A lifespan of 200,000 miles is sufficiently long for the Model 2, which is crucial for an affordable electric vehicle, as concerns about expensive battery replacements costing thousands of dollars could deter potential buyers. Internal battery production is a crucial part of qualifying for the U.S. electric vehicle tax credit, so this alone could make the Model 2 significantly cheaper or more profitable. Furthermore, when comparing the Model 2 to other affordable electric models being sold in China, these electric vehicles can only travel about 140 miles on the highway before needing to recharge due to their smaller batteries. However, Chinese electric cars take at least a half hour to charge, whereas the Model 2 only takes 10 minutes. So if you have to make a long journey of about 280 miles, the Model 2 will arrive at least 20 minutes earlier than other electric cars in the same price range. Although LFP Gen 2 batteries only offer the advantage of fast charging, this seemingly simple fact is enough to make the Model 2 significantly more useful exponentially compared to any other EV priced under $30,000. With this electrifying charging speed advantage, Tesla could truly achieve its goal of selling 1 million Model 2s a year when the Nevada battery production plant adequately supplies batteries to the Texas factory. But everything seems not as straightforward as we imagined because from a broader perspective, this type of battery is a double-edged sword for Tesla. Cattle also collaborates with Toyota, Mercedes, Volkswagen, Ford, Renault, just to name a few. So it's not that they couldn't use this type of battery in their affordable electric vehicles or even license the IP themselves, which makes the advantage of the Model 2 debatable. Therefore, while this revelation is great for us consumers, it doesn't guarantee Tesla's dominance in the world of electric vehicles.
According to Cattle's announcement, production of this battery type began in late 2023, and deliveries to electric vehicle manufacturers are set to commence around first quarter of this year. Tesla might be one of the first automakers to receive these Shenxing batteries as they aim to thoroughly test them before fully integrating them into Model 2. In fact, before integrating LFP Gen 2 into the Model 2, this battery type was tested on the first electric vehicle model in China, the Cheria XC Xlantix ET. During extreme cold testing at minus 20 degrees in Inner Mongolia, the electric SUV charged up to 80% in 24 minutes. According to Exceed, under normal conditions at 25 degrees Celsius, it can travel an additional 400 kilometers in just 10 minutes with its new LFP battery pack. What makes this battery technology especially important for the Model 2? We all know that the Model 2 will be streamlined from exterior to interior with the goal of maintaining its $25,000 price point. Of course, it won't be ugly or outdated because that's not the essence of a Tesla electric vehicle. Everything will simply be scaled down minimally. At this point, everything shifts towards the performance of the compact crossover, particularly its battery pack. Even Morgan Stanley acknowledges that Tesla may need the assistance of Chinese battery technology to bring the new $25,000 vehicle to market in the future and achieve significant market penetration in the U.S. automotive market. While LFP Gen 2 is praised for its strong, fast-charging capability, the M3P battery is also highly anticipated to soon make an appearance in Tesla's electric vehicles. Why might Tesla soon consider M3P batteries for future models? During the inauguration of Giga Berlin, Elon Musk jokingly mentioned seeing great potential in manganese for its cheap and abundant battery material, suitable for expanding production scale to the terawatt-hour level. Meanwhile, Tesla's long been rumored to be one of the major customers for manganese phosphate batteries supplied by Cato. To elaborate further on the M3P battery, it's a type of battery that's cheap and easy to manufacture like the LFP battery found in the Model 3, but it offers an energy density of 15-20% to within the same footprint compared to conventional LFP cells. When announcing their invention, Cattle stated that manganese phosphate batteries are planned for use in mid-range electric vehicles capable of traveling 435 miles on a single charge. However, that is the generous CLTC cycle of China, which typically exceeds EPA estimates by about one-third, so the M3P is similar to the LFP Gen 2 in that if it integrated into an electric vehicle, it may have an official range of about 300 miles, a stable range. However, the significant advantage of higher energy density allows for the use of smaller batteries, thus reducing the cost and weight of the vehicle if all other factors are equal. There are rumors that Tesla will first install Cattle's M3P batteries on the Model Y from Giga Berlin, followed by the Model Y Juniper from Giga Shanghai. However, Cattle is still developing and verifying batteries with Tesla, and the timing of the launch is still unclear, insiders said. According to Cattle, currently only Huawei Cherry's cars are equipped with M3P batteries. But while answering investors' questions on February 28th, Cattle also noted that they're continuing to collaborate with other customers on their M3P batteries. One of these customers is expected to be Tesla. Clearly, none of these parties have received manganese batteries yet because Tesla and Cattle are still in the verification stage. It remains to be seen whether Tesla will first install these manganese batteries, but since the companies lost eligibility for federal tax credits for the Model 3 Highland due to Chinese batteries, they may also use a better battery type in the future. Regarding Tesla's importation of Cattle's LFP battery manufacturing tools, Bloomberg indeed reported last month that Tesla is expanding its battery cell production at the Giga factory in Nevada by opening a small factory using Cattle's equipment. Morgan Stanley also noted in a research report in mid-March, the U.S. is an underpenetrated EV market in need of high-quality, cheap battery tech, said Morgan Stanley in a research note this past week. So, by striking a balance between national security issues and moving the U.S. EV market forward, Tesla cattle could be a game-changer, investment banks and financial services company said. Investment banking advisory firm Evercore predicts that the future low-cost vehicle bill of materials will decline from $28,000 to $20,000 and likely have 250 miles of range and no glass roof, adding that it's not certain whether Tesla's driver assistance hardware will be standard. Cattle's collaboration with Tesla in producing LFP Gen 2 opens many hopes up for future generations such as RoboTaxi, Tesla van and the refreshed Model Y Juniper. Cattle announced that the next-gen electric vehicles powered by Zhenxing LFP batteries will be available globally in Europe, the Middle East, and North America. 
As we know, the next-gen EV developed under the codename Project Redwood, the Model 2, will play a crucial role in helping Tesla maintain its hard-won position among the world's top electric vehicle manufacturers. After being overtaken by BYD in the lead position in the fourth quarter of last year, Tesla sent out requests for quotations or invites to tender Redwood sample suppliers last year and forecasted a weekly production volume of 10,000 units. Tesla has at least two reasons to quickly bring the Model 2 into production as soon as the Nevada factory can produce large quantities of these new LFP batteries. The first reason stems from the pressure to produce affordable electric vehicles from two different sources, consumers and competitive rivals. As we've mentioned many times, faced with a strained economy, consumers are increasingly interested in purchasing cheaper electric cars as their travel needs are primarily within city limits. Secondly, Chinese automakers have now reduced production costs to the point where the cost of producing electric vehicles in China is about one-third lower than anywhere else in the world. The rest of the industry is looking at them and wondering how they'll compete globally as Chinese cars start flooding their traditional markets. That's a question worth paying attention to. The key to Tesla's survival in this scenario is an entirely new manufacturing process that the company claims could save up to 50% of construction costs and accelerate production time. This process, called Unbox, revolves around reducing the amount of work performed at each stage of the production line, avoiding any unnecessary movement or disassembly of the vehicle or its components during the transition to the production line. In conclusion, the Model 2, priced at $25,000, utilizing the latest generation LFP battery, will dispel any doubts about a low-performance vehicle. Instead, it'll precisely serve as an affordable car that plays a pivotal role as a primary revenue source for Tesla in the coming years. With its innovative technology, streamlined manufacturing process, and strategic market positioning, the Model 2 is poised to revolutionize the electric vehicle industry, driving Tesla's growth and cementing its position as a leader in sustainable transportation. So, what do you think about Cattle Shenxing battery for the Model 2, and what do you expect to see in this generation of low-cost electric vehicles? We appreciate your contributions. Hopefully, you have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, Please hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.